we are given two vectors u and v and we have to find the angle between these two vectors. So, we know the angle between these two vectors or any two vectors can be identified using scalar product formula that cos theta is u dot v divided by modulus of u and v. So, in our case this is i plus j dot cos of 1 by n into i plus sin of 1 by i into j divide by their modulus which is 1 square plus 1 square into cos square 1 by n plus sin square 1 by n. So, the dot product will be cos of 1 by n plus sin of 1 by n divide by 1 square plus 1 square will be root 2 and this is sin square theta plus cos square theta which you know is 1. So, the value of cos theta in terms of n is cos of 1 by n plus sin of 1 by n divided by root 2. This can further be simplified as you know sin theta plus cos theta is root 2 sin of theta plus pi by 4. So, using this identity you can write it as root 2 sin of 1 by n plus pi by 4 divided by root 2. So, this comes out to be sin of 1 by n plus pi by 4. Now, in the B part, it is asked that the exact value of the limit which is approached by theta when n is tending towards infinity. So, you know as n tends towards infinity, 1 by n tends towards 0. Now, as 1 by n tends towards 0, this term will tend towards sin of pi by 4, which is 1 by root 2. So, as cos theta is tending towards 1 by root 2, you know the theta will tend towards pi by 4. So, theta equals to pi by 4 is your limit. For more such questions and their detailed explanation, do visit our website iitnacademy.com and register for detailed explanations and solutions. Thank you.